Hello from Chisholm, Chisholm, and Kilpatrick. If you're a disabled veteran with dependents, you are probably already aware that you can get additional compensation each month. But don't forget that there are a number of other benefits for dependents or survivors of veterans that you can obtain. Today, we're going to give you a quick overview of these additional benefits so you can start your research. My name is Brandon Piva. I'm an accredited claims agent here at Chisholm, Chisholm, and Kilpatrick. Today, I'm joined by my colleague, Luca Silvia, who's also an accredited claims agent here at Chisholm, Chisholm, and Kilpatrick, and he's also one of our lead advocates. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you find it helpful. All right, Lucas, so let's go ahead and dive in a little bit. So my first question for you is, who is a dependent and what does VA define a dependent as? Yeah, sure, Brandon. Always a pleasure to be working with you here. Um, yeah, as a as an attorney here, I mean, I've I've seen every kind of dependency issue that you could think of, and uh, some pretty interesting circumstances as well. But uh, we've got a few different categories to kind of go over that are important. Uh, first would be your spouse. So uh, note there that VA does recognize now uh, same sex spouses as well as if you're in a common law marriage. Uh, there are some particulars with common law marriage that are state specific. Uh, so it doesn't apply in every circumstance. The next would be a parent of a veteran. Now, there's a financial dependency aspect to uh, adding your parent as a dependent. You kind of need to be directly caring for that parent, uh, and VA will look at that parent's income and net worth as part of that determination. So there's going to be some paperwork you're going to need for that. Uh, kind of the last most common one that I see every day it would be an unmarried child of a veteran. So that's gonna be a child that is under age 18, child that is not married, um, or a child uh, that was uh, permanently disabled before turning 18. There's also a uh, specific carve out for children who are between the ages of 18 and 23 that are going for a full-time uh, school program that VA approves. Now that's also gonna require some paperwork as well, but. That's kind of what you're looking at. You're looking at spouse, parent, and a dependent child. Great. Thanks for that, Lucas. So now that we've defined what VA recognizes as a dependent, let's dive into it and let's briefly get into the benefits that you could be entitled to. The first that we're going to talk about very briefly is healthcare. So with health insurance, if you don't qualify for TRICARE right now, you may be able to get health insurance through what's called CHAMP VA otherwise known as Civilian Health and Medical Program of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Now, CHAMP VA covers most medical services, uh, for instance, like uh, ambulance, surgery, hospice care, uh, mental health, and even prescription medication. So it's, it's pretty all encompassing. However, CHAMP VA does cover a lot, but some things that it does not cover, for instance, uh, is like dental care, uh, chiropractic, eye exams, or corrective lenses. So that's sort of covered pretty separately. Another thing that we'll touch on pretty briefly on the healthcare aspect is dental coverage. Uh, dental is usually covered separately under what's called the VA Dental Insurance Program, otherwise known as VA DIP. So now that we've kind of introduced that a little bit, I think we'll talk about education next. So Lucas, can you talk to us a little bit about education benefits? Sure. Yeah. No, it's, it's a very important aspect of, uh, of benefits. It's, you know, why a lot of veterans, uh, want to take advantage of some of these services because they're, they're very good services. Now, there's uh, really two that I wanted to focus on today. The first one would be DEA benefits, which stands for the uh, Survivors and Dependents Educational Assistance Benefit. Now, this program offers up to 36 months of monthly payments to eligible dependents who are enrolled, again, in a school that VA is approving um, or for some kind of on-the-job training or apprenticeship as well. So that's something to look into for that. Uh, there's also the Fry Scholarship. Now, the Fry Scholarship is available to children and surviving spouses of service members who died in the line of duty after September 11, 2001. You'll get money for tuition, housing, uh, books, and uh, school supplies. Now, it's important to note that you can't get both DEA benefits and Fry Scholarship benefits at the same time. You need to pick between one of those two. And that's going to come down to your personal needs and, and you know, kind of what your circumstances are for that. Uh, you should also be aware that veterans can transfer any unused post 9-11 or GI Bill benefits to your spouse or to your dependent child. So, again, that's something you'll have to figure out what works best for your circumstances. But that option is available to you as well. 
Additionally, there are also some compensation or special compensation rather uh, for survivors um, of veterans, uh, you know, their, you know, their spouses had, had passed away. The first and the most common thing that we usually see here as far as benefit wise, when it comes to these survivor benefits, at least here at CCK, is what's called dependency and indemnity compensation, otherwise known as DIC. Now, DIC is a tax-free monetary benefit that's paid to eligible survivors of military service members who died in the line of duty or a veteran's death that resulted from a service-related injury or disease that he or she had incurred. Another benefit for survivors is what's called VA survivor's pension. Now, this is a little bit different in that it is primarily a needs-based benefit, and this is paid to surviving spouses and children of wartime veterans. Sure. And then there's a few other benefits that I also just wanted to kind of hit briefly as we're, as we're kind of going through some of these. Uh, the first one is a VA home loan. Uh, surviving spouses can be eligible for a VA home loan um, certificate of eligibility. So that's going to allow spouses to get a VA backed home loan, which again, depending on your circumstances, might be something that's good for you to look into. There's also life insurance benefits as well. So the Family Service Members Group Life Insurance, or FSGLI, uh, coverage is available for spouses and dependent children of veterans. And then last, we've got burial benefits to talk about very briefly. Uh, eligible surviving members may receive burial benefits, which can include uh, burial in a VA national cemetery, certain reimbursements, things like that. And uh, you know, if there's any specific questions about those specific programs, then, you know, please feel free to reach out to us and talk to us about that uh, because they, they can get in the weeds a little bit. But uh, those are the three programs that uh, the, the three additional programs that uh, we wanted to hit. Great. So as we're getting close to the end here and sort of wrapping up our video, let's touch briefly on how you actually get dependent benefits. Pretty much with everything when it comes to the VA, if you're looking for assistance, you need to file a claim in order to get these benefits for your dependents. Especially if you're a dependent or a survivor, the VA recommends working with an accredited veteran service officer, otherwise known as a VSO, to help navigate the application process and ensure that all the required information that you're looking for on the various forms for the benefits you're filling out, basically to ensure that all the information is provided to help sort of streamline the process. Um, so I think that's a good place to kind of wrap up, Lucas. I think we pretty much touched on, on everything pretty briefly, as at, at least as quickly as we can. Um, so if you're looking for more information about compensation or benefits for veterans, please check out our website, cck-law.com. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Thank you again and take care.